Mr. Sticker Mania again from Louisville, Kentucky with my final four new arrivals for my Sticker Mania 2853 eBay store. We got this complete set of factory sealed Beatles CDs in the long boxes from 1987. They put them in these long boxes to help on shoplifting, but also because two of these would fit when record albums stopped selling, they had all these vinyl album, um, you know, cases left. And these two would fit perfectly where the record albums used to be. But these, uh, four of these are the AAD, which means they're from the master tapes and just with a digital step at the end. Please Please Me is that way, Beatles for Sale, Hard Day's Night, and Revolver are all the harder to find AAD. They were all $14.99 originally, except for the white album, of course, was more $28.99. Sticker Kid, you wanna help me with the rest of them here? Sure. We got a set of Bruce Spicer books, the harder to find ones. Hand me that VJ book. Got the first book he did, the real, Nice uh, 1998 Beatles on VJ Records. We got the 1998 The Beatles on Apple Records. And we got the Beatles solo on Apple Records, the white one there. Oh, he's heavy. I know, they're heavy. And we got the double. I got that one's real heavy. Capital, the Beatles story on Capitol Records came out in 2000. It's a two volume set. They're autographed by the author Bruce Spicer. And I got one more. It came out in uh, 2003. The Beatles are coming. And that's in the uh, original slipcase, too. Talks all about when the Beatles came to America. My other things I got another 1970 Beatles. Let It Be UK box set with the Get Back book. And you hand me the uh, picture sleeve over here. Might took me a little bit. We got a ticket, unused ticket stub from 1975 for Led Zeppelin. This was a canceled show at the uh, Palm Beach International Raceway because the demand for tickets was so big and they were, Led Zeppelin was so big at the time, they were afraid there wasn't enough parking and it would be a nightmare. So they canceled it a couple days before the show. Got a real nice 1964 picture, Beatles picture sleeve for Do You Wanna Know a Secret? It's just made out of thin paper. These are hard to find in decent shape. Couple other things. I got this rubber sole, the early 1966. Take me alive, wow. Give me the record there. I don't know if I can... This was a, um, was recut by Hazel Yarwood in early 1966. She was a classical engineer, cutting engineer at Abbey Road Studios, and she made the best pressing that exists ever of this mono rubber sole. Oh, you dropped something. Yes, that's the original inner sleeve that goes with it. Uh, I got uh, one more, two more here. Got a 1964 in the Sears bag of the Beatles song stories, pictures and stories of the fabulous Beatles on VJ Records. And this is the way, because they weren't shrink wrapped, so Sears would put their own special baggie on it to protect it. This is a real difficult uh, gatefold cover to find in this nice shape. And what's even more amazing about it, the mono record here is, looks unplayed with no spindle hole wear at all. The best condition uh, original introducing the Beatles I ever had. One more, we got an Abbey Road from 1973, right here. Oh. This is when Abbey Road Studios was closed for 
uh, renovations. And so they sent the master, loan the master tapes to France and made this beautiful, amazing audiophile record of Abbey Road. And the Because pretty much has a different mix where the harmonies are uh, more to the front. And Paul McCartney's bass playing really sounds good on this pressing. Those are my final four new arrivals for March 2023. You know how you said that book was heavy? Yeah. Can I try to hold it? You want to hold it? Yeah. Here you go. Hey, if you can hold it. It only weighs about 15 pounds. Oh, you lie. <laughs> Good job. See you later.